We have been tested through a spring like no other in the uncertainty of summer, through sickness and cynicism. We have been tested, but we have not been weakened. Because here we are, in person and online, together, ready for what lies ahead. Today, we enter a new semester, a new season, a chance to renew, recommit, and rewrite, an opportunity to grow stronger. We can strengthen our minds. South is a place to be challenged, to turn adversity into opportunity. Use this time to expand your worldview, explore research opportunities, take classes outside your field, and go outside your comfort zone. We can strengthen our connections to our community, to our friends, and to those with different backgrounds and opposing points of view. There are opportunities for meaningful engagement and valuable service at South. We can strengthen our education by taking advantage of all that college has to offer. Find a mentor to support and challenge you. Join a student organization or start one of your own. Find an internship in your field, even if your major doesn't require it. Get involved in campus life and get behind your fellow Jaguars. We can strengthen our resolve to show what it really means when we say Black Lives Matter. Acknowledge systemic racism, call out inequality, and be inclusive in actions. And we can strengthen our commitment to one another during this pandemic. All of us share this responsibility. Wear a mask, avoid crowds, and follow social distancing guidelines. This isn't what we're used to. But it's what we need to defeat this virus, keep our campus open, and continue our lives together. In these challenging times, we will do everything we can to keep everyone physically safe, emotionally secure, and intellectually stimulated. South Strong is more than a slogan. It is our pledge and promise. Well, hello, class of 2024, and welcome to Convocation. It's our pleasure to have you as a part of JAG Nation, and we are excited about you being here with us at South Alabama. Convocation is a time of coming together, and all across the country, universities are beginning their fall semesters, and South Alabama is no different. You know, we are not physically together for this convocation, but here at South Alabama, we will soon be together. Each year, this event is normally held in our Mitchell Center Arena. But we know that we will see you in classrooms, we'll see you in our Recreation Center, in our Student Center, and many other places around our campus. So we invite you to stay connected through a student organization, through service, and through other engagement opportunities around the university. So let's all stay South Strong together as we embark on this new journey. We hope that you enjoy today's program. On behalf of the faculty, welcome to the University of South Alabama. We are excited to have you here and look forward to seeing you in class and around campus. I'd like to take a minute to introduce the common read for 2020-2021, Spare Parts. You will be studying and discussing this book in many of your classes. It is a great book and is an easy read. Not to give too much away, but the book, A True Story, is about a group of Latino high school students who enter into a robot building competition and compete against teams from some of the most elite universities in the country. But what the book is really about is working hard, working together, and persevering through what seems like insurmountable odds. The book is very fitting for new college students. The next four or so years of your lives will challenge you, break you down, build you back up, and bring a sense of accomplishment that many of you may have never felt before. You're going to have to make tough decisions in the next few years. Do you hang out with your friends or study for your midterm the next day? Did you pick the right major and consider changing, or are you just struggling through a difficult course? And maybe the most important one, did you really just walk across that stage and complete your degree? I, we, all know that you are here for a reason and that you will persevere and earn your degree. And we know that you will go on to do amazing things. 
Again, I'd like to welcome and congratulate all of you for starting this journey. I hope that reading spare parts will give you some inspiration to get through the difficult courses and decisions you have to make so we can watch you walk across that stage in a few short years. Together, we can get through this difficult days and semesters. Together, we are South Strong. Greetings, class of 2024. Each fall during convocation, I get the honor of teaching the incoming freshman class their very first course at USA, which we have titled Fight Song 101. This year, we are coming together virtually to celebrate the beginning of an amazing journey for each of you. Our fight song, South, helps bring together the amazing individuals who make up the University of South Alabama. Students, staff, faculty, healthcare professionals, and alumni all over the world, and allows us to speak together as a Jaguar community. To help us learn these important words and the melody they are attached to, I've asked for some help. Join members of the Jaguar Marching Band, South Alabama Cheerleading, and our very own Southpaw as they take you on a field trip through campus to learn our fight song, South. Hey class of 2024, my name is Grant Skinner. I'm the head drum major of the Jaguar Marching Band. And today we're gonna to be going through Fight Song 101. Now, what this will entail is various members of the Jaguar marching band around campus teaching you various lyrics from our fight song. Our fight song is very important to us. We do it at football games, basketball games, and anything to show our spirit. Now, first, we're gonna learn the lyrics to our fight song. Here we go. South Alabama, we're the pride of the red, white, blue. Loyal, strong, and faithful. To our alma mater, true. South Alabama. We will cheer you to win the day. For it's J-A-G-U-A-R-S. For you, S-A. That's awesome, guys. Now we're going to sing and play it together. That's great guys. I hope you've enjoyed Fight Song 101. I hope to see you guys around campus supporting our Jags. Thanks guys. Thanks so much guys. As we move forward this year, words like loyal, strong, and faithful, the same words written in our fight song will be even more important as a campus community. We need to be loyal and faithful to those around us by wearing our masks and practicing social distancing and safety guidelines. And we need to stay strong as a campus community as we face the new challenges presented by COVID-19. Working together, we can do amazing things. And soon we can sing the fight song and cheer our Jaguars to victory. Until then, let's stay South Strong. Hey everyone, I'm Tia, a senior majoring in secondary education. South has been my home these past three years and I cannot wait for you to make it yours. As we all start the school year, just know that we are all in this together and we are going to make the best of it. I know that life looks a little bit different for all of us right now at this very moment, but the world is constantly changing around us. Right now, it is time to embrace that change. It is now time for you to embark on a new journey in life. Only you know what that specifically means for you, but from what I know, for all of us, new and exciting things are about to happen. College is a really special time in your life that allows you to live out your dreams and experience one of a kind adventures. However, we must all do our part to make sure that we as a school are safe and healthy. To be South Strong, it all starts with you. And by doing your part, I can do mine. And we together can stay at South and truly live some of the best years of our life. Always remember South is home and go Jacks. To the incoming freshman class, 
My name is Carly Williams, and as much as I'd like to actually be in front of you guys talking, I hope this virtual program finds you well. A year ago, I was in your exact same shoes. Well, maybe not exact, but you know what I mean. I left my hometown where I had lived for 18 years of my life. I moved to a school 12 hours away, and I left my family and my best friends and pretty much took a leap of faith. At first, my grandmaster plan was to let people come to me. Eventually, I knew I would make friends. I met a girl at the Backyard Bash from Ohio, which made me feel a lot better knowing that there were other people from far out of state. I told her my plan, and she convinced me to get involved and asked myself, what's the worst that could happen? I honestly owe it to her for the person that I am today. My point is, it's hard to find yourself in the very beginning, no matter if you're coming from 12 hours away or 10 minutes away. But I promise, it's all worth it. My freshman year brought me some of the best memories, the best friends, and a campus that feels like my home away from home. One of the not so great qualities that I possess is my diehard ability to procrastinate, as I'm sure some of you can relate. To be completely honest, I wasn't exactly sure what I was going to say to the incoming freshman class that missed out on half of their senior year. I can't imagine what it's like to miss out playing your senior night after playing baseball for 12 years, or having to return your prom dress you picked out with your best friends or to not get one final walk on graduation day with all of your classmates. Although I can't exactly understand what it was like, rest assured that you are in for some of the best years of your life. Starting off, know that everyone you meet is different from the last and use that knowledge to learn from people. You're going to meet people that you love, people that you don't love and everything in between. But on a college campus, you're going to meet all kinds of people coming from all over the place. Listen to the people around you hear their high school stories, laugh at their jokes, and advise them when needed. If there's one thing that I've learned from freshman year, it's that I can learn so much from the people around me. From helping me in my biology lab to teaching me how to eat my first crawfish, I can safely say that I learned so much inside and outside of the classroom my freshman year. Connect with people that you have similarities and differences with. It's going to help you create stronger bonds. A lot of times, people find a piece of themselves that they didn't know they had in college. Embrace that. Embrace doing things differently than you normally would. Embrace the newness that you're going to be surrounded with. In regards to your classes, it's important to form relationships with your professors and your classmates. It's going to make your classroom life so much easier in the long run. I'd be lying if I said sometimes it's tough to get up and go to those morning classes, but liking your professors and classmates makes all the difference. Go to the office hours, go to that library study group, because in the end, there is nothing bad that can come out of that. College is about trying something new, and that includes your classes. Of course, you're going to have to take the classes you have to take, but enjoy your time in those too. Talk to your professors and classmates. More than likely, they will help you in any situation. It can be hard to reach out of your comfort zone, especially in class, but just remember, everyone is in the same boat as you. One of the biggest topics about freshman year is the constant changing. I get it, change is scary, but change is healthy and more often than not where you're going to find your true self. It's okay to not hang out with the people that you used to or do the same exact things that you used to. You're going to meet loads of different people. You could find a hobby that you never really thought you could be interested in. Change is only scary if you let it get the best of you. Embrace the changes and don't get too caught up with who you should or shouldn't be. After all, you're exactly where you're supposed to be in this moment. All in all, if there's one thing that you can get from me, I hope it's to embrace your true self and all the time you get here. You don't want to regret wasting your time on being someone you aren't. Trust me. You will find your people. You will find your place. So be patient with yourself and the people around you. Embrace everything that college is going to throw at you, and you'll walk out with lifelong memories. Good luck, class of 2024, and welcome to some of the best years of your life. Enduring through 
throughout time. Upward, onward, may your fame continue in its climb. So with thy blessings now send us Pray that highest be our aim. South Alabama, may we ever lift and glorify your name. USA. So class of 2024, you've had an opportunity to hear from our president, to meet some of our great students, to hear from our faculty, to learn the fight song. Now it's your turn. We want you to stay engaged, to stay safe, and to stay South Strong. Dear Jags, it is so good to be back together. We are definitely better together. So let's keep it that way. Let's all, every one of us, do the things that we need to do to keep each other safe, to protect our friends and our teachers and our families and everyone in our community. We are South and we have the power to change and affect the spread of this terrible virus that turned our normal upside down. We can take back our normal. We can take it back by doing the three things that will keep us all safe. Wash your hands like you just played oozeball. Wear the red and blue on your mask like it's Jaguar Wednesday every day. And stand together six feet apart. You've got this. We are South and we can do this. South is home and now we are back. And we have the power to keep that way. We are strong. South strong. Together.